In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do post hoc testing in the Pearson chi square analysis scenario. Now, most people call it a Pearson chi square analysis, but there are also some people that call it a contingency table analysis. And I think that's actually a better term for this analysis because chi square is really just a statistical distribution that can be applied to, and that is in fact applied to, a large number of different statistics. Now in this example, there are two variables. And one of the variables is called major, and it's measured on a nominal scale. So there are three different uh, types of majors that people study at university. And in the second variable, I have socioeconomic status, uh, which is measured kind of on an ordinal scale. And it's measured on four different levels, from very low to high. And the first step I, I'm going to show you here is just to look at the frequency, frequencies associated with the variables. And uh, we can get an idea of what uh, these data look like. So I put that in there. And oops, let me just make this a bit smaller. Okay, uh, what we have here is the first variable, which is major. We have science, and there were 81 students that were enrolled in science, and that corresponds to a percentage of 30.8. And then social science is 49% of students, and then art students is 20.2%. So there are le fewer art students than any other major. Now what about socioeconomic status? Might there be a disproportionate percentage of students associated with the various uh, faculty or majors with respect to socioeconomic status. That's ultimately the question the contingency table analysis is going to answer. But here's just the straight percentages. We have 18% of people, students in low socioeconomic status, 22% in lower and middle, upper middle 30%, and upper 29%. And so the question is, is there an association between major and socioeconomic status? Or stated alternatively, is there a disproportionate percentage of students in sciences who are, say, from lower socioeconomic status in comparison to arts? Now, to answer this question is not difficult if you know how to do the contingency table analysis. SPSS calls it a crosstabs. Now, go into crosstabs. And I put major into rows and socioeconomic status into columns. And I go into statistics and click on chi-square. Now this chi-square value is going to be for the overall analysis. It's going to tell me whether there's even one percentage that is uh, more or less than what you would expect based on the null hypothesis. That's not post hoc testing. And usually people will do the analysis, and I'll show you what the result looks like now. We'll see if we have a significant result. And we can see that, uh, let me get rid of this. Uh, we can see that the overall analysis has been, the null hypothesis of no association has been rejected. We can see that Pearson chi-square equals 36.77 with six degrees of freedom, and it's less than 0 0.00. That just tells me that somewhere across this contingency table, there is a disproportionate number of students across the majors in one or more of the socioeconomic status levels. So maybe there are more lower status, lower socioeconomic status students who major in science versus arts. But I don't really know if that's the answer to that. I don't really know if that's true. I just know that overall there's something deviant between the observed uh, and expected cell frequencies. Now to do the post hoc testing, a lot of people would break this down into a series of two by two uh, cross tabs or contingent stable analysis, which you could do. But a more efficient way is to use uh, an, ana ana an analysis option that is quite easy uh, to do in SPSS. It's this residual section. 
Over here, SPSS gives you the option of residuals in the cell display. In the cells option, it gives you adjusted 